you know, I'm, I'm used, not used to, but often I can go into the transcendent where, you know, I'm aware that of this out here. <laughs> um, and it's a, it's a wonderful place because I don't know. I don't need to know. I love it. But it's like I leave my body behind. So I leave my body behind in order to get to that space. I go up and out. Yeah. So in that space, but I leave my body behind, you know, or, or at least it feels that way. But what I love is you saying you bringing that together. The space inside doesn't have a boundary. And so my body and, and that, I don't hardly know how to, what to call it but it felt like a balance and a oneness that I, I haven't experienced before like the part that when I left to go the, during the break mm -hmm. I found that I was so intentional in everything I did And it was like the the me inside. Well, they're not different, but I'm sorry, I'm I'm having a terrible time. No, so. you're doing great. <laughs> no, we hear you. You're just um, describing describing an experience you had, mm. where you don't, you didn't have to leave your body behind. Right. Yeah. That that's that's wonderful. Um. Yeah. And. I, happy go ahead well they they talk about the imminent and the transcendent and i hate terms but that describes it for me i the imminent just being what's here and it's very grounding for me see that's what i was lacking was yeah the um but this helped me to feel grounded because i'm also in my body Exactly. And yeah. I mean, if we were being non-dually non correct, we would say, well, no, you're not in your body. You're, the body is in you because you're consciousness. And so, you know, consciousness is not limited by a body and all that, which we know most of us, I guess, maybe some of us don't, but have heard this and understand this. But in this approach, we sort of don't want to hear that or it's not helpful to hear that because we do have a body. It's a very real experience. Mm -hmm. um, and if we if we sort of try to feel that we don't have a body that we're just pure consciousness that does elicit sort of transcendent experiences which by the way can be very beautiful and some people do we all might have had experiences of just being I don't know just body free free of a body for a, a, a moment in fact when we go to deep sleep you know we are free of a body and a mind it's very it's very nice um you know when the wave sort of really resorts back into the ocean but what you're describing is is well you described it very well it's the imminent if we have to use a sort of spiritual word it's yeah. it's, it's 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 the wave I'm using the, the sort of analogy of the wave and the ocean. So the body being the wave doesn't have to cease to be a wave to fully taste its ocean nature. And the ocean, which is also what we are, doesn't have to uh, limit itself in order to know its wave expression. So it's it's a sort of, it it feels right. It feels right when we have glimpses during this yoga of both feeling it's a real there's a feeling here it's of, of, of a body but it's a body that's not as small and cohesive and limiting as 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 we at other times feel our body to be when it's when it's aligning itself with the belief in being a separate wave right. so it's a, it's a body that's natural a body that's just more natural and, and you know i don't I think it's an ebb and it's a it's we we go back and forth with it you know we have to be honest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but 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 this yoga will I think in a very innocuous gentle way realign 
something we remember the body to itself to its true nature so anyway i think you're describing something like that yeah and it, it's like i forget that the divine is in the body i mean i've always had trouble being in my body you know and this just felt very grounding and um to experience that boundarylessness mm -hmm. at the same time i was grounded mm -hmm. was beautiful well thank you thank you're you you're welcome and, well yeah and don't feel you have to rush we have time cheryl i mean i think what you're talking about is so important also what you just said that i've not wanted to feel my body did you say or not want to be body. in my body mm -hmm. which i think this again this this approach is sort of invites us so very gently to be in our body or to be with our body and many of us have good reasons not to want to feel our body or to be in the body or to you know we we, we would rather sort of transcend and um and possibly some of us had such trauma at some point that we actually experienced a transcending experience that was associated with a trauma so there's a lot of ambivalence about this experience of having a body of being a body and 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 so in this approach i i hope there is a sort of reconnecting with very gently with 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 that realm of feeling of of but that includes difficulty, resistance. But because it's so gentle, we and because we do it together, and maybe the language is inviting, or then it, it's possible. It's possible to stay where usually you just get the freak out of there. <laughs> and the fact of staying is the remembering that the body is divine. You know, it's a fact of just saying yes to the body and yes yes just saying yes yes and then the yes is what unifies the body and god i you know it's hard to, you, you did a nice job talking about this because it's not easy to talk about mm -hmm. but you said it and i i i this has made a big difference for me and i appreciate it